everybody. Welcome to the Daily Dose of Danny. Me and Bowser are taking a taking a different route today for our walk. And yeah, I woke up this morning craving Five Guys and I realized I haven't Uber Eats or ordered any food for my weekend. And that's usually how I change things up. So yeah, I'm gonna Uber eat some Five Guys and that sounds like a good Sunday in and of itself, but <laughs> we'll see what else it gets into. And I realize this is gonna be the last Sunday um, of the Daily Dose of Danny. Well, not for forever, but um, yeah, this is gonna be like, I guess the starting of the last week because I'm only gonna be doing it through April. So it's kind of cool. Um, it's almost become routine. You know, they say it takes 21 days to create a habit and I almost feel like this is a habit, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but celebrating, celebrating the last week of the Daily Dose of Danny. So if you've been watching these, I appreciate you. And yeah, let's see what Sunday brings. Having some five guys, French fries, Belgian, and modern family. <laughs> it's the finale. Yum. So today's workout was definitely powered by five guys. <laughs> and I used just resistance tubes today. And I don't think I posted a workout with just resistance tubes. And the cool part about resistance tubes is that there's variable resistance, meaning it's gonna be a lot tougher at the top of the movement than it is when it's completely relaxed. So it just gives you a different mode of exercise. And I did just arms with the resistance tubes. So I started off with bicep curls and then lateral raises. And then now I'm doing behind the head, tricep extensions, and then also a squat to press uh, standing on the band. And again, you can change the resistance of the band by how much you're standing. So of course, if you're shortening the band at the, the beginning of the movement, it's gonna be a lot harder to stretch it out, meaning you'll have more resistance. So I also did some band pull aparts as well as some lat pull downs with the resistance tubes to hit the back muscles as well. It was a pretty good workout. I ran through the circuit just three times and it was a good pump. So to end today's video, I wanted to have a Bowser appreciation post. As y'all probably can tell, he is a pretty big part of my life. And today, yeah, I just let him off the leash and let him run around a little bit because there was nobody around and it was a beautiful day out. And yeah, it was just really cool to see him frolic around. We we go on really long walks and sometimes if we can make it to the dog park, we will. But this one was, it was almost like a little treat, right? Like a little kid in a park where you're just like, yeah, go play. And technically you're not supposed to do this, but there was nobody around. There was no other dogs around. And yeah, it just made him so happy. And I took some slow-mo videos and... Um, yeah, he's just so adorable and he's been so good for my mental health in general. And I'm sure those with you with dogs can attest to how amazing pets can be. So if you can hear this, go give your pet a little love and I will see y'all tomorrow.